sorry about the quality of the following video. I kind of started the video as an afterthought when I was in mid mid project. So I kind of rushed through. And this is just a prototype of uh, to see a kind of a feasibility study on how if this would work. If I'd be better off buying commercially uh, built bulbs, which I'm having trouble finding good ones for LEDs. Um, I found an Altronics this particular uh, LED for about 15 bucks. Let's see if I can see the price here. Yeah, 1525. The battery was weak in the camera, so it probably has a little bit of a whine in the background from the inverter noise. Um, oh, the other thing I didn't mention in the video is these come with a little blue film over the uh, die. Um, that peels off real easily. When I first fired it up, I didn't uh, have them peeled off. I was wondering why they were smoking. <laughs> so I bought two of them. And I mounted them just to one of these uh, old PC heat sinks you can find sometimes on surplus market and sometimes from your own parts pile. Um, I also added a couple of 3.3 ohm resistors. I calculated out that I don't need a 2 ohm resistor, but I had these, so I figured I'd test it with these. I'm kind of glad I went with these. Um, I got them kind of over the exhaust of the fan there, so they get a little bit of cooling. And wrapped around, not heated to the heat sink, so they don't give the heat sink any extra heat. I could have used voltage regulators to drop the 12 down to 10, but I'd have to use two of them, and really resistors are a better way to go. You don't really want it regulated totally because uh, if these start drawing more current then they'll stop dropping more voltage not being regulated. So basically what I've got is a 12 volt uh, switch mode power supply that I garbage picked um, and I cut, it, cut the end off and uh, put the resistors in series. I should put them on series with the negative end for some reason just because it turned out with the holes and the wiring it turned out easier to do. And so I put a resistor on the fan too, since I'm using a 5 volt fan and a 12 volt reel. I didn't think I'd need the fan to turn very fast. Um, so I put a 220 ohm resistor across it. And it barely turned. I thought it would be slow, but this is even a little slower than I wanted. And the heat sink wasn't keeping cool as I wanted, so I ended up putting a second one across. I'm contemplating maybe even putting a third one across. But I think right now it's holding stability well enough when I leave it uh, cooking for a while. So I think I've got it at a point where it'll be at thermal stability for a long period of time and could work unintended for a long period of time. But I still need to do a little testing. And I'll show that in a minute. But basically this is a real simple project. Um, with the resistor, uh, with the negative end of the power supply, I put uh, resistors in series. Uh, one each for each light. One 3.9, uh, 3.3 rather, for each light. And uh, in fact, I got a, like a one watt, two, uh, a one watt, one ten ohm resistor here. But I got two two twenty half watts. Um, that's to get the fan turning at the speed I like. And this thing is kind of unreal bright, brightness of it. I've, I'll show what I want to hopefully use it for in a minute. Um, Basically, I've got a barn with very inefficient, old, well, not very inefficient, but inefficient fluorescent tubes. And I'd like to find a replacement that I could do for a reasonable money. This thing is just really bright. It's kind of, I can't really show you on camera. But it's just like eye painful bright. Plus, you can see my fan's turning a little bit. The fan's turning at a slow but good rate. I can feel the breeze off of it. And then cooling my resistors and my chips, of course. But this is a 100 watt uh, equivalent um, and here's the uh, LED shining into it so it can actually, <laughs> it can actually light up inside of there, it's hard to explain, but it's out gutting that thing by a good measure.
sun. Okay, it's run for a couple minutes now. I want to see what... Well, you probably can't see that. It's 102. It's the hottest spot I can find in the middle here. Uh, there's 113, right? 115 right there. 116. I thought I've got a hot spot there. 123 over here. 128. This side of the heat sinks all in the 90s. I wonder why the differential, why it's hotter on that side so much. Interesting. But these temperatures should be, uh, I'm going to let it cook for a while and these temperatures should work. So it don't get too much hotter. Well, here's my little pole barn workshop. And he put in uh, these fluorescent fixtures. This one was at usual, was parallel with this one back here. And I think he intended to put another one here, another one here, and then two across this way. He's got, you know, all that's enough for that. And there's one switch for each bar. And I was going to buy some more of these fixtures, but I want to see if this LED, if I could do an LED solution instead of these big power grabbing fixtures. And then maybe I'll make at least one bar across probably two bars across with uh, LEDs these are uh, pretty power hungry even being fluorescent I think it's 80 watts a tube these uh, eight footers so there's some power there especially if you put you know if you put six of these fixtures in had them all going at once it's quite a bit of power so I want to see if I can get an LED solution to take up at least half of these. And there's the LED in comparison with uh, 160 watts of uh, fluorescent, which is obviously brighter. Not by a whole lot. I'd say three of these would do the job quite well in comparison to one of those. I think it's bright as all get out. Yeah, maybe three to one. It's about 9 wa uh well actually about 18 watts of uh, LED there probably. They're 10 watt LEDs, there's two of them. Uh, they're rated 12 volts, 10 amps. I'm sorry, 12 volts, 1 amp, but only 10 watts, so obviously those are maximums, not continuous numbers. Um, and I was dropping about 0.97 across the one I looked at. I should look at both, make sure they're both dropping the same. Um, I haven't looked at current. I should calculate current across that resistor. I can get current, but I'm guessing they're probably probably running about nine watts each. So that's a heck of a power difference for maybe a third as much light. So these are claimed uh, to be 800 lumens at uh, 10 watts. But you'd probably have to pulse to really run 10 watts continuously, or have one heck of a heat sink. Um, now DigiK sells a kit that's quite expensive. It only gives you 860 lumens. Um, you know, maybe four or five times the cost of this setup. Well, no, not, not that that much. At least double though. And this actually has a beat because I've got 200, two 800 lumen devices going. Let's see if they're both doing 700 lumens each because they're probably running close to full power. That's a lot of light. They're pretty cheap. Calculated out with that 9.7 voltage across the LED and what I have across the resistor by subtracting and then um, the long and short is this LED is running at about uh, well each one of the two LEDs is running at about 7 watts. Um, it's pulling about 0.7 3 amps and uh, at that 9.7 volts. So that's pretty close to probably what you'd want to run them. I could probably run it a little hotter next time. If I order more resistors for these and then using on a 12 volt supply I'll probably go with uh, 0.27 next time instead of a point, I'm sorry 3.3s is what I got. I probably want to go with 2.7 resistors. It'll probably be good. You can't run them at that absolute peak of uh, 1 amp and 12 volts 
unless you pulse, pulse with modulate the uh, DC coming to the LED so that there's less than 10 watts uh, on an average basis. And you need a really good heat sink for that too. So I don't see that happening. I think what I did here is pretty good. I could probably push them just a little bit harder. So just an afterthought here. I was trying to figure out how many lumens one of those bulbs gives off. A stock uh, 8 foot bulb. 96 inches. It's saying a mean lumen at 7,650. Of course my two little chips together if they were driven to the max would be 1600. So I'm a ways off there. Um, 110 watt. Holy shit. Most of these are like Actually, this won't be a high output. Yeah, it is a high output bulb. This is probably not what I have. I probably had the 60 watt bulb below. So the lumens were about 4750. Uh, and two bulbs in the fixture. So I still got a ways to go. I'd take at least. Take a lot of them. No equal that, I guess. Also, to consider. I also found some other interesting things here. You can actually buy LED bulbs that'll fit right in a fluorescent fixture. Um, 2,000 lumens per bulb, 115 bucks. So that's probably not going to happen, but it's interesting. Well, a lot to consider.